Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we have another of the brand new 2021 Collect Day figures to look at. And this is quite possibly the most anticipated of all of the 2021 Collect Day figures because it is another of their deluxe pterosaurs. It is their Pteranodon and... I must say that it is quite possibly the most pleasing to the eye and one of the most impressive looking deluxe pterosaurs from Collect Days so far. It is just unbelievably beautiful looking in person. When I initially pulled it out of the box, I was almost at a loss for words at just how incredible this figure is. As usual, sporting the extraordinarily large size, it's just in general got a lot of presence to it, but sculpt and paint-wise, this figure is off the charts beautiful. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So, starting up here at the head sculpt, well, actually, technically, I guess we'll start at the beak of our Pteranodon. You can see that the actual detailing aspect to the beak is just unbelievably well done. There is a lot of really nice, very fine detail included in the beak of the Pteranodon. You can see that as we run the entire course of the beak, you can see there's just lots of cracks and crevices throughout the entire beak, as opposed to kind of more of like a smooth appearance, which you would more often see as far as a pterosaur beak. Collect Day has given this kind of like a more rugged, much more realistic, I would say, appearance to the beak of this pteranodon and it also has some really nice coloration to it you can see some light hints of yellow up here some variations of brown even almost like a variation of gray it's like a grayish green color right there around the nostril and of course the nostrils themselves are nicely elaborated with a black coloration making the nostrils stand out and you can also see that the coloration darkens to a very dark brown almost like a burnt umber when you get really close to the face of the pteranodon of course the jaw is articulated it articulates quite nicely it has a very long beak so you've got a very long jaw to articulate on this but you can see the inside of the mouth is painted quite nicely with a very dark purple coloration you can see the tongue is sculpted out in there all of the paint looks really quite nice overall nice and carefully placed there's no sloppiness as far as the paintwork goes or anything to this pteranodon and you of course have some very nice looking detail here on the inside of the mouth of the pteranodon as well moving up into the face of the pteranodon you can see the eye is beautiful looking as far as that very nice black coloration that they've given the eye and the nice dark black of the eye plays off of that really cool yellow that kind of borders around the eye it really elaborates the darkness of the eye and that black eye color it just looks so beautiful because of the lighter coloration around it and they've gloss coated it to perfection it shines exactly like a real eye would so as usual collect day has done a great job on the eye of the figure you can also see again after the yellow we get to a nice white coloration which gives the pteranodon quite a bit of flashiness there to the face you can also see a nice pouch here on the underside of the throat that is given a reddish coloration which as well i think gives it a bit of flashiness but a very realistic appearance i would say coming up here into the crest the crest as well sports some really nice detail lots of very fine detail, beautiful texturing to the crest of the pteranodon. And you can also see that there's been a very nice dry brushing that's been applied to make the detail pop quite beautifully. And it transitions then to a yellow as we move out further into the crest of the pteranodon. And then even further, it transitions to an orange. And the transitioning between those colors is really smooth, very nicely done. Overall, gives it a very lifelike and very realistic appearance as well. And I absolutely love the paintwork on the crest again just giving it that really flashy look but they've given it on on top of being really flashy like a really nice and natural appearance for what I could potentially see on a pteranodon in real life and I do apologize if I keep bumping the camera with the pteranodon again it's pretty darn big so it does tend to hit the camera every so often but I really also like the dry brushing that they've applied right there in that area to the crest I really am a big fan of that particular area once we move down here into the face again in the white area, you can also see a little area of black. They're kind of highlighting the ear of the pteranodon as well. And you can see a beautiful picnofiber-like appearance to the face of the pteranodon. And you can also see this brown here runs up over top of the eye and then down along the back of the pteranodon. As we continue to move down the course of the body, you can see that brown runs down here and then down into the throat and then transitions to a very light brown. And they've given it like a really cool white 
wash throughout the lower part of the figure, making that detail pop really nicely, which I really, really love, making it just generally look, again, quite realistic and alive. And the pouch here in the neck region also sports some really nice detailing as well. I didn't really mention how good the detail is in this area, but that really, really looks quite nice. And then again, once we move down here into the body, you can see some beautiful detail to the picno fibers and everything here on the body. You can also kind of see like some fluffiness kind of poking up here and there on the back of the pteranodon you can kind of see like some musculature here in the arm as we lead out into the wing as well some very nice detailing in the wing area of the pteranodon beautiful texturing to the kind of skin flap within the wing you can also see transitions from like that kind of actually like a like it's a mixture of like a brown and a gray sort of and then it transitions to a yellow which kind of runs the course of the entire wing here on the outer edge of it and it looks really quite nice again giving it some flashiness but very realistically and you can also see the nails are painted with a black coloration they look quite nice out here and again detail wise the wings look really good paint wise as well as you can see a few different variations of like lighter and darker browns throughout the kind of skin flap areas of the wings as we move down here you can see the leg as well sports again that same similar kind of a brown like a mixture of a gray and a brown and that white wash making the detail pop beautifully there as well and then it transitions to a yellow for the legs and the feet. Again, the nails are painted with a black and they look really nice. The tail is very unique looking, I will say that. It looks really cool with the way that they've sculpted that. And that transitions to a brown, similar brown to what we see up here, down here on the tail. Very, very cool looking. And then if we take a look at the opposing side as he hits the backdrop there, again, it is absolutely flabbergasting to look at the head sculpt of this pteranodon it is just so gorgeous again all the paintwork is very nice and very carefully applied it looks picture perfect there is no sloppiness at all to this figure in any way shape or form paint wise and you can see the eye again painted very realistically it genuinely looks like a real living animal's eye and in general the model looks like a real living pterosaur honestly and the larger size really helps to give it that real living pterosaur look but again looking at this side you're not going to see too much difference on this side as opposed to the previous side because again the pterosaur is just kind of standing there like all of these larger pterosaurs from collect day usually do they're usually in a standing position so you're not going to see too much difference on this side compared to what we had seen on the previous side the head appears to be turned a little bit to the right but honestly there's not too much else as far as the sculpt goes as far as difference between this side and the previous side again beautiful sculpt and paintwork up here on the crest and then once you move down here into the body again it all looks pretty much the same like we had seen on the previous side but that again means that it looks gorgeous over here on this side just like it did on the previous side really really well done and then if we look at the underside again we've got some more really nice picno fibers here on the underside of the pteranodon and you can see the skin of the wings and everything stretching and bending and everything in exactly the correct positions for the way the pterosaur is standing beautifully painted as well with a nice light gray coloration here for the underside and of course you can see collect a and pteranodon right there on the wing but honestly this pteranodon is definitely one of if not the best releases from collect day for the 2021 year and it is just absolutely mind-blowingly incredible in person now again like i was sitting the pterosaur is very large as these larger collect day pterosaurs always are so for a size on the pteranodon if we go for like a length from the beak to the tail back there you are looking at about a foot, roughly, maybe even a little more because it's kind of hard to get exactly in the position with the wing here. So if we go around the wing, actually, and then just kind of creep it back there, it is about 12 and a half inches or around the 31 and a half, approaching 32 centimeter range. And then for a height to the tip here of the crest, about eight inches or 20 centimeters. And then to the tip of the beak, which is a little higher, it's about closing in on nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our collect day pteranodon and now i must say that you have to be impressed with the overall size of this pteranodon as it completely dwarfs each and every one of the figures that you see before you and the papo rex is quite the sizable figure overall so for it to 
be dwarfed so much by this Pteranodon, again, really says something about the sheer size of this figure. And then for a second size comparison, here is the Pteranodon next to an older release, I believe the 2019 Kaiohara from Collect Dane. You can definitely see again, size-wise, that this Pteranodon is very impressive. Similarly sized to the Kaiohara, but a little bit bigger, I would say, again, proving that this figure is extremely impressive in every way. So this 2021 Collect Day Pteranodon is unbelievable. If you take this and compare it with the older Pteranodon from Collect Day, man, what a world of difference. It's insane how much Collect Day has improved over the last few years. And in my opinion, they have just created the best Pteranodon figure on the market. And I think it's probably going to be a while before we get another one that's this good, if we ever do. This thing is just impressive in every way. It is definitely the word I would use to describe it, impressive. Once you get this thing out of the box and you take a look at it, honestly, it'll put you in a state of awe. It is that overall beautiful sculpt and paint-wise. If the size wasn't impressive enough, and trust me, the size is very, very impressive, the very fine detailing of the Pteranodon is gorgeous. They've done an insanely good job as far as sculpting out the fine detail of this Pteranodon, especially in areas like the beak and the crest. I really love those two areas. It just gives the Pteranodon such a very rugged kind of a feel. But on top of the very rugged feel that you get by looking at the detail in those areas, you also see the overall beauty of the Pteranodon when it comes to the Really nice paintwork and the very beautiful looking pycnofibered type look to the body. Like it overall is just a really, really gorgeous looking animal. And I think Collect Day has really shown both sides as far as like that rugged look of a Pteranodon, but also the beautiful side of the Pteranodon in both the sculpt and paint of the figure. I love the paintwork that they've given it. I think the paint application and the paint scheme they've gone with is picture perfect for what I'd like to see on a Pteranodon. And honestly, I think if I actually saw one in person after seeing this Pteranodon and it didn't look like this, I'd be kind of bummed out. It's a really beautiful look as far as the paint scheme for this Pteranodon, and they've done a great job on the actual application of the paint using many different variations of brown. Even in like the beak of the Pteranodon, they've used so many different variations of color just making it look super realistic. But also the really nice yellow around the eyes, the white that runs down along the side of the face, the beautiful red there in that pouch in the throat region, and the really nice coloration up there on the crest. I also love the wash that they've used on the body. Everything about this paint-wise is just absolutely incredible. And then the addition of an articulated jaw is pretty much just the icing on the cake. So Collect Day, once again, taking a pterosaur figure, creating one of their giant deluxe pterosaurs, and just knocking it straight out of the park. And this could potentially be the best one yet, if you ask me. So if you would like to pick this up, make sure you keep checking back to everythingdinosaur.com as this should be coming into stock at some point in the very near future. And definitely pick this up as soon as it does because it is easily worth a purchase. So keep up to date with Everything Dinosaur by following their social media accounts and uh, then you'll know exactly when releases are coming into stock. And again, make sure you purchase this when it does officially arrive on Everything Dinosaur. You will not be disappointed. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.